Hey guys, this is TMF Style. I'm Jose Zaniga, and for today, I wanted to do a quick video on my beard. So, if you guys are a long time supporter or a long time viewer, the, the real MVPs that have been here since I was like on 20,000 subscribers, you know what my beard looked like four months ago. If you don't remember, or if you're a new subscriber, that's basically what it looked like. Here, actually, I'll do you one better. I'm gonna pull up an old, not even old. Give me a second. Okay, so this video is not that old, and this is my fault because when I started this whole idea of showing you how to grow a patchy beard, I actually recorded myself, which I started this on January 21st. I recorded myself, I recorded how my beard looked with one month of growth, and I lost that footage. I can't find it on my computer, so that's my bad. So what I'm trying to do is go back, see if I find old videos of me around that time. So here's one example of how my beard looked with about three months of growth. Hairstyle tutorial. So I haven't done one of these in a while, and I wanted to show you what I've been using. So Look at right all now, that patchiness. Kind of long. I would say right now it's about medium length. It's around okay, so that was one example. This example is even better. This is from January 17, 2016. This was three days before I started this, so. That's the date on the video. That's how I look like. Check this out. In this video, we're gonna be discussing what thickness you should buy for your lapel side. And if it's probably gonna be your first suit, or you're very unsure, you don't know what lapel side. Okay, so you pretty much get the idea. I had severe patchiness. I only grew a little bit here. I had this really awkward sideburn that basically got to here, and then I had nothing here, and I had some scruff on this side. That was it. And as you see today, about four months later, I have a whole lot more beard. I still have some patch areas or areas, I guess you can say. I still have some patch, this has always been my weaker side. So I still have some patchiness. Uh, my mustache grew in. This side has always been my stronger side. As you can see, it still is my stronger side, but still some patchiness. But the point is that literally in about four months, I grew a full beard. And this was from a tip I got from my cousin and he started using this thing called minoxidil. Now what minoxidil basically is, is it's basically Rogaine. So before I started this, I did a lot of research because I'm kind of paranoid with anything and applying anything to my face that I've never heard of, I was kind of weary like, all right, this makes your hair grow, but are there any severe side effects? You know, anything that I need to worry about health wise or anything like that. So I did a lot of research on my own and that's something that I recommend you guys doing. You know, even if I'm telling you to do it, still do your own research, see what you think about it before you even start doing it. And if you're under 18 or anything like that, they don't even recommend you using anything like this. But what minoxidil basically is, it's Rogaine. The main active ingredient in Rogaine that makes your hair grow is minoxidil. You get it in two formulas, either 2%, which is the lighter formula, usually recommended for women, or the 5%, which is a little stronger for men. Rogaine's patent has expired, and now, of course, come all these brands that just make the same formula for less, and that's what I got. I got this on Amazon. It's basically a six-month supply for, I wanna say, like $15, $16, so I'll have it linked below so you guys can check it out. A lot cheaper than Rogaine, and all it is, it's like a, it smells like alcohol. It's like a very clear liquid, and it comes with a one millimeter dropper, and you apply that twice a day. I personally only applied it once a day, at the end of the day, right at night before I went to bed. And I applied it every night for about three months. I've been off of it for, I wanna say two, three weeks already. And another interesting thing that I wanna point out is that if, like you saw, I had a lot of patchiness. So the hair didn't grow out evenly within these four months. So something that I did was about every three weeks, I would trim down my hair so it kept growing. And as you can see today, it's, it looks a lot more even. And what I'm actually thinking about doing is trimming it one more time really low, close to the face, and letting it grow out again. But this time with no minoxidil or anything helping me. Like I said, I am off of the product. I was thinking maybe doing one or two more weeks just to try to fill in those light patchiness. Haven't decided that yet. But what I wanted to do with this video is just show you guys if you have problems with patchy beards and you wanna grow one, try this product out, it worked for me. I didn't have any side effects. When you apply the product, you will feel almost like a, a, a light burning sensation. Like, have you ever applied alcohol in the barber shop after they uh, give you a haircut? Kind of that same feeling, ends up going away. It's a little itchy, but that's about it. I didn't have any flakiness, any skin irritation. I didn't have any of that. So it, was, it worked really well for me. 
But like I said, always do some research on your end to know if there are any side effects, anything that you need to worry about personally. But just here to end up the video, here are some drastic befores and afters. So this is me before. Again, these are pictures from a year ago or less than that. Some of them are six months ago. So this is me before and how severe my patchiness was. Just regular pictures of me. And obviously this is me today with a fuller beard. So that's it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this tip helped you out. I know a lot of men are probably gonna be excited with this tip. Some of you might have heard of it already. It is gaining popularity. A lot of guys are starting to do it. So go ahead and try it out. I'll have the link below to the product, the exact product I was using. So that's it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit up the like up button, helps us out. Also remember to subscribe, put out three videos every week. Thank you guys for watching.